Today's Miami Dolphins news and rumors is presented by Manscaped. If you're looking for the best male grooming products on the market, go to manscaped.com, but use code DOLPHINS at checkout. We've been telling Manscaped the Dolphins fans, they're here for the long haul. If you want more Dolphins videos, you got to go to manscaped.com and use code DOLPHINS. Let's now break into some news here. So I'm going to try to tell a story. I'm going to be a, a storyteller, if you will. Curtis Weaver, selected in round five, 164th overall in the 2020 NFL Draft out of Boise State. This was a move where I know a lot of NFL draft analysts, me included, were like, yeah, I think they got an absolute steal here. So Miami, though, they released him and put him with an injury designation, hoping that nobody would claim him. Uh, I was pretty shocked by the move, considering the fact that I was a believer of Curtis Weaver. And I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, when you look at a player's college production, that's going to tell you how they're going to do in the NFL. Obviously, I'd be lying if I said that's how it worked. But in 2019, 13 and a half sacks, 52 tackles, 19 and a half tackles for a loss. 2018, still nine and a half sacks, 43 tackles. When you look at his career, three years, anytime you can find a player with 47 and a half tackles for loss and 34 sacks, that's at least something that you need to keep your eye on. The other reason why I thought this was a big uh, surprise for me and many fans out there in Miami, because the depth uh, for the Dolphins, especially at the defensive end, it's thin. Kyle Van Noy, he missed practice on Tuesday. Yes, we have a lot of high hopes in Shaq Lawson, Emmanuel Ogba as well, but at the end of the day, this was a very surprising move. And to no surprise, the Cleveland Browns, they took advantage of it. They go out and they sign Curtis Weaver. So the fact that Weaver is now in Cleveland, the fact that, you know, they had to place Grant Delpit on the IR to an Achilles injury, that's very unfortunate for him. But Cleveland gets, well, a steal. Even if he was battling injuries, Weaver to me should have been higher than a round five pick. It was very, very surprising, and I do almost wonder if the Miami Dolphins, if Brian Flores really, truly regrets letting him go because the talent was definitely there. So I'll ask you guys the question, was it dumb? Was it smart? I mean, I, I always trust coaches, right? Because I, I, sure, I run a show here at Chat Sports, but coaches, I hope, know a lot more about football than I would, right? So let me know. Do you think it was a smart move, or do you think it was a dumb move? If you think it was smart, type S for smart. And hey, let me know in the comments why you think it was a smart move. If you're going to type D for dumb, and I'm going to be honest, I'm also going to type my D for dumb because I do think the Dolphins are going to regret letting go of Curtis Weaver. If you're in Miami <laughs> and you don't use ball deodorant and ball toner, you're dumb. It is hot as balls here in Dallas, Texas, and I know for a fact it is hot as balls in Miami. If you put deodorant underneath your arms, you know why you do that? Because you sweat. Why would you not do the exact same thing to the family jewels down there? If you're trying to get the perfect package, family, uh, the family package, sorry, the perfect package, the ball toner and the ball deodorant comes in that. You also get the lawnmower 3.0, which is the best male grooming tool out there. There's no tug. It's rechargeable. You can use it in the shower. And my absolute new favorite thing about it, when you're, uh, let's say you're in the shower and you got the leg up and you're trying to get underneath there, I'm trying to show you all as best as I can. It's hard to see. There's a light on the end of that, so you can get to those hard-to-reach places. So when you're in that black hole, you can get all the hair out of there. The perfect package is available at manscaped.com, but you got to use code DOLPHINS. You can save 20% off and get free shipping. Oh, yeah, the boxers and the traveling bag, they're free with the perfect package. Those boxers, the most comfortable things you will ever own. Let's go to the next store here around Earl Thomas, and you know, I'm pretty sure Earl Thomas knows if his brother's using Manscaped or not. So if you don't know that story, <laughs> stay tuned. Thomas to Miami. This has been something that has popped up here. It's popped up there. It's been, well, all over the internet. And we did talk about the potential of Thomas going to Miami because they were one of the top destinations, if you will, at least for a video that we filmed here at Chat Sports, because you could see that Earl would be an upgrade. And as much as I know y'all love Bobby McCain, you could at least still use Bobby McCain as a rotational cornerback. Insert Earl Thomas there as a safety in. Well, for a defense that's got Byron Jones, Xavier Howard, and plus, you know, if Noah Ibnogany is healthy, they've got a pretty solid team. So when I looked at some potential destinations there, the Cleveland Browns were on the list because they just lost Grant Delpit. Miami, they're in the mix as well. Houston Texans were on there. They've come out and said they are no longer interested. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers were on that list because, well, you're seeing a lot of veterans. They want to go out and win. Tom Brady, apparently they think he can still do that. The Dallas Cowboys are obviously still in the mix. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they make a lot of sense too. 
the reason, though, that I would tell the Miami Dolphins and the uh, majority of teams out there to stay away from him is because the shenanigans of E.T. are getting a little bit A.B.-like. So after a big win over the Dallas Cowboys, he begged for Dallas to sign him. That's a chump move in my book. He flipped off head coach Pete Carroll after an injury. Sure, he was upset that he injured him, but Pete Carroll, you're really going to flip off Pete Carroll. The incident involving his brother and wife, if you don't know it, look it up. <laughs> and then he uh, missing and then late to meetings, that's never good. Then the altercation with Chuck Clark that ultimately led to him getting the boot. So how about this? We're going to play a little bit of a game here, all right? You want to play a game? Creepy, name the, name the movie. Earl Thomas will sign with the blank. This is a tough one for me. I am still going to say that I am a believer that he signs with the Dallas Cowboys. But if you listen to Jerry Jones, if you listen to maybe Mike McCarthy, who might not be that interested in him, it's an interesting debate. Where will time is signed? Let us know in the comments section. If you're looking for the fastest growing Miami Dolphins channel on YouTube, see that green link below, youtube.com slash Dolphins News. You can go there and subscribe. Over 2,000 subs, and it continues to grow. Updates here on a Xavier Howard, and my DMs uh, have been blowing up. Every single time I put out a video for the Dolphins, I get some fans are like, well, what happened to Xavier Howard? What's the latest on Xavier Howard? Well, the latest on him is he's at least on the sidelines, and that's really not what you want to hear considering the fact that he is currently on the pup list, and he was on the COVID-19 slash reserve list earlier in the month. Bottom line is, Dolphins fans want to see Howard on the field because when he is on the field, he is actually one of the better cornerbacks in the National Football League. And then when you pair Howard with Byron Jones, if Byron Jones can do exactly what he did last year for the Dallas Cowboys, and Xavier Howard can do, well, what he did just two years ago, you're looking at maybe not one of the best cornerback duos in the league, but maybe the best cornerback duo in the league. Then you have Noah Igbenogany out of the nickel, but you're looking at a lot of unproven pieces. That's why you really need some veteran presence there with Byron Jones, with Xavier Howard. So, Xavier Howard is expected to play week one, and I hope that he does. And I can't even believe that football is, well, just a few weeks away. So, how about this here? I want you to look into your crystal ball, and I want you to predict week one. Dolphins at the New England Patriots. So, scroll on down on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, I don't care, wherever you see this video. Scroll on down and let me know who's going to win the week one game. Dolphins at the Patriots, I would definitely appreciate that.